welcome. This is Spotlight. And we are trying to take the whole process of a developing a relationship with Jesus and becoming more like Jesus down into the little parts that make it all come together. So let's go back to the Matthew 6.33, a great verse. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, then all these things will be added unto you. What is our part? Seek Jesus. Seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness by faith. What is God's part? <laughs> all things. He does all the rest of it. Uh, you can use John 15, where Jesus used the parable of the vine. And uh, he says, you abide with me. Abide with Christ. Abide in the vine. Connect to God. And you will bear much fruit. The Christian life is not trying to bear fruit. The Christian life is trying to abide in Jesus. By ourselves, we will, let's say, by their fruits you shall know them. We will bear bad fruit. We all know what that's like when we aren't with Jesus. We get angry. We're power hungry. We, we want money. We're selfish. We're angry. This is what we are. He says, if you are with Jesus, we will bear much fruit, good fruit, fruit of the Spirit. In Galatians 5, 22 and 23, love, joy, peace, goodness, kindness, long-suffering, all of that. So how do you seek Jesus? Obviously, uh, that's the famous three-legged three stool, Bible study, the words and teachings and stories of Jesus, the life of Jesus. Read the Gospels. Uh, watch Spotlight. Uh, read the little one-minute, God-minute devotional that we send out every morning. Uh, Read a psalm every day. Read a few pages of the gospel. Read the gospel of Mark. Read John. Get the life of Jesus. Listen to a podcast while you're driving or while you're walking. Listen to a sermon. Bring Jesus into your life, and you will, by beholding, we become changed, and we will become more like Jesus. You will follow who you most admire. Prayer. Two ways. We've got to spend time in prayer. I turn everything off in the car and just, God, what do I do? I had someone send money this week to something, and I just called them, and I said, I just want you to know that was an answer to prayer. So I've been praying over that. I went, God, what can I do? Please help me figure out a way. And someone sends exactly what I needed that day. Oh, thank you, Lord. So I was spending time with Jesus in prayer, talking both ways, listening, getting involved in service. Uh, helping somebody take some cookies to the neighbor, uh, putting a few dollars into a mission project. Uh, can be anything. They're just helping someone else. Fix their car, go move their piano for them, whatever it is. We've had to help some people move this week. I've had people just drop everything and just say, I'll help you. Great service. And we grow in coming like Jesus. These are not new works to take the place of the other works that we quit doing by ourselves. These all come from Jesus. It is Jesus who knocks on our door every morning and says, let's spend some time together. He's the one who makes us hungry in order to spend some time with him. He is the one who leads us in what to read, what to listen to. He is the one who takes that message and puts it in our heart and translates that into your soul. Holy Spirit does that. It's all Jesus. We don't do any of this all by ourselves. And it doesn't earn points. It doesn't climb the ladder up to heaven. It's seeking Jesus. It's abiding in him. We want a relationship with Jesus. So the, the famous line is something like this. We don't fight the fight against sin. We fight the fight of faith. Is to keep having a relationship with Jesus, trusting in Jesus. And then Jesus fights the fight of sin. Does that make sense to you? So we don't fight the fight of sin. We've all failed at that. Out here in the battle, trying by grit and willpower and backbone to fight the battle against sin. And we just lose. We win once in a while, only outward morality, but not inside. We fight the fight of faith to know Jesus 
and he'll fight the fight itself. This is Spotlight. Be with you next time. Thank you for watching Spotlight. We're so excited about this. We hope that you'll subscribe and so you'll get all of them. And please just forward it on to others and tell other people about it. And let's just see what kind of an audience we can get for these messages of Spotlight. God bless you.